check this out. I put out a poll yesterday because I wanted to find out how my viewers were going to respond to the FAA investigation launched on Virgin Galactic's Unity 22 flight recently. So 20, sorry, 261 of you got back to me in terms of voting and I'm very proud to say that 79%, a massive majority of you uh, said that you're going to buy the dip and then only 11% of you said that you're going to sell and avoid and then 10% of you said that you're going to sell and get back in later. So I'm really proud of you and I'm glad to let you know that I'm also buying the dip. Like I said to some of you who asked what I'm planning to do, my investing strategy is very simple. So hodl and buy the dip. And then to Johnny Zenith, yep, I'm hodling and I'm buying the dips. So the way I invest in stocks is I find one that I like. I find a company that I like. I look at the long-term trajectory and I, I ask myself, do I think this company will be higher in terms of stock price in the future compared to now? And if the answer is yes, I like to just look at that long-term vision, ignore the short-term fluctuations, get a position. And anytime there are any dips, I like to buy them. So the investing strategy for me is simple, hodl and buy the dip. And I'm going to explain to you in today's video why I think the FAA investigation is going to be over very quickly. And I think that we are going to be cleared to fly the full revenue generating Italian Air Force flight very soon. And that's going to be a massive catalyst for us going forward. And I'm going to share with you the uh, stock price analysis at the end of the video and what I'm planning to do. Okay, so before we jump in, I'll be grateful if you could smash that like button, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because why? Check this out. Previously, 80% of you who view this, uh, these, these videos are not subscribed. Now it's a bit better, but still 77% of you are not subscribed. I'm really grateful. It really helped the channel out if you can subscribe and this will support the channel greatly. Let's jump into it. So. This article came out very recently by the ITP and mainly it details Virgin Galactic's response to this whole FAA investigation. So let's jump into it. Why do I think the FAA investigation will be cleared very soon and why do I think we're going to be flying the Italian Air Force flight very soon? So first of all, this is important. Unity 22 was a safe and successful test flight that adhered to our flight procedures and training protocols. When the vehicle encountered high altitude winds which changed the trajectory, the pilots and systems monitored the trajectory to ensure it remained within mission parameters. So the key words here are the fact that the vehicle encountered high altitude winds. Now, why is high altitude winds important? I actually had to do a bit of digging. I went to the uh, FAA.gov website, so the Federal Aviation Administration website. These are the guys who are actually launching the investigation. So I went on to the space section and then the legislation and policies, regulations and guidance. Now, when you scroll down, you can see a list of documents. And the one that I am going to look at is actually very old. It's 23 years old, so it was... Uh, published back in August 1998 so obviously it's got some waiting so this is the guidance for unguided suborbital launch vehicles and the attachment specifically that I want to look at is the trajectory analysis guide uh, lines so let's go into this so once you go into this document now the key bit that I want to look at is you can see these are a bunch of definitions but the specific definition I want to look at is nominal trajectory now, what is nominal trajectory? So the nominal trajectory is the trajectory that the vehicle will fly if all vehicles aerodynamic parameters are exactly as expected, if all vehicle internal and external systems perform exactly as planned, and there are no external perturbing influences, for example, winds, other than atmospheric drag and gravity. So the key word here is external perturbing influences for example, winds. So that matches up with the keyword that we looked at earlier, which Virgin Galactic responded with, which is the fact that they encountered high altitude winds, which was the cause of the change in trajectory, which resulted in them coming out of the restricted uh, space that they were not supposed to go into. So essentially what happened, or first of all, what FAA are saying is their de definition of nominal trajectory is basically uh, the perfect conditions. If if there if there were perfect conditions, 
then the spacecraft needs to follow a specific trajectory and sometimes there are external factors but if there are external factors then it's fine they don't need to follow the normal trajectory that's essentially what I get from this definition and that's essentially what Virgin Galactic are telling the FAA what they're saying is look we were following the actual trajectory everything was going successfully and then we encountered some high altitude winds which blew off blew us off course and you can't really fault that to be honest I think what essentially happened is that the FAA uh, had to launch an investigation it's normal protocol that if an aircraft or a spacecraft flew out of the restricted zone an investigation needs to happen but basically this actual investigation the way it's going to play out I think is that they're going to say look there was a clear cause for the actual um, vehicle going off course it's nothing to do with the pilots in Virgin Galactic it's nothing to do with the spacecraft in Virgin Galactic and it's nothing to do with the VMS EVE it's solely to do with the high altitude winds and the key is how Virgin Galactic responded to this actual change in trajectory so they responded very well in fact check this out so our pilots responded appropriately to these changing flight conditions exactly as they have been trained and in strict accordance with our established procedures they went on to say although the flight's ultimate trajectory deviated from our initial plan it was a controlled and intentional flight path that allowed unity 22 to successfully reach space and land safely at our spaceport in new mexico at the at no time were passengers and crew put in any danger as a result of this change in trajectory and then they went on to say as well that the unity 22 flight did not fly outside the lateral confines of the protected airspace as, as a result of the trajectory adjustment the flight did drop below altitude of the airspace that that is protected for virgin galactic missions for a short distance and time which is one minute and 41 seconds before re-entering restricted airspace that is protected all the way to the ground for Virgin Galactic missions. At no time did the ship travel above any population centers or cause a hazard to the public. So automatically we're in a safe zone because A, at no time were passengers and crew put in any danger and B, at no time did the ship travel above any population centers or cause any hazard to the public. So if anything, I think this is demonstrating how good Virgin Galactic is at adapting to adverse situations and I think that the FAA called this an investigation but what's really hap happening is we went off course and it's triggered an investigation but actually what the FAA are going to do is actually learn from this experience and if anything it's more like Virgin Galactic helping the FAA saying look this is what you can do in future to prevent any issues when you do veer off course because of uh, unexpected external forces like uh, wind so this is good news for Virgin Galactic because literally like I mentioned I think to summarize how this whole um, investigation is going to play out literally the FAA are going to say it, there were no human errors that caused this trajectory um, to be changed and uh, it, Virgin Galactic responded appropriately and safely and there's something to be learned from the way they responded. This is going to be a successful uh, investigation, it's going to be cleared and then what's going to happen is we're going to see the um, announcement for the Italian Air Force flight and hopefully that is going to be successful as well. We're going to have full revenue generation and our stock is going to be on another level because of these two catalysts I think. So yeah that's what I think anyway and like I always say I personally think this was an overreaction I think a 15% drop because Virgin Galactic um, demonstrated their skills and ability to adapt in adverse situations is uncalled for if anything it should have gone up and hopefully once the FAA investigation is completed I'm hoping that they are going to um, demonstrate uh, Virgin Galactic's skill and that is going to uh, cause a catalyst in the stock price as well as hopefully an announcement of the next test flight so we've actually they've actually created a potential uh, another catalyst for us so they created a buying opportunity and a, a potential catalyst for us uh, when the investigation is cleared and then we've got another catalyst coming up which is the Italian Air Force flight so 
I like to spin this positively. I think this is good news for Virgin Galactic. And um, as always, my strategy is to buy and hold. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts and what your strategies are. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button, subscribe to this channel so that more people are subscribed and this could reach more people. I'll be very grateful for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. If I can close this.